Well, it's been a remarkable recovery, uh, particularly for the bald eagle. Uh, they were essentially extirpated as a breeder in, in Missouri up until the early 80s when the Department of Conservation and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and several other partners and us got together and started a restoration program in Missouri. And we went from zero breeding pairs of bald eagles in the early 80s to over 150 today. So it's been a remarkable success story. Uh, they're continuing to increase. They're doubling every five years and just an all-around great success story for conservation. Uh, the barn owl was put on the state endangered list uh, a long while back, uh, but since then we've done a lot more surveys and actually found a lot more of them, and there's actually more habitat for them now than there was historically. So as a result of those new findings, we decided to delist that species as well. The western fox snake is being delisted because we have found more populations of them in the past 20 years, and we feel that the population is stable and unlikely to go extinct in the next foreseeable future. We have purchased a lot of uh, wetlands um, along the Missouri and the Mississippi rivers and when we go out and look for them we find quite a few of them so the wetland restoration that the department has done seems to have been very positive for this species. The western fox snake is found mostly along the uh, northwestern and northeastern counties of Missouri along the river areas. The best thing that Missourians can do is to not collect and not harm the western fox snake. They are not poisonous. They're very beneficial for the habitat. They do eat small rodents and other uh, species. So it's important just to leave them alone and let them do their thing.